ho, ho, body ho, ladies and gentlemen. Christmas is upon us and that means one thing. The summer merch drop is nearly here on the 7th of December, Tuesday the 7th at 6 p.m. You need to be on the merch store because all these amazing new pieces of merch will be available. I'm so bloody pumped. This is the biggest merch drop I've ever done, all right? I'm so pumped for this, but also we are doing for the very first time the 12 days of Buxmas. What the bloody hell does that mean? I'll tell you right now real quick before we get into the video. It means this. Everyone's had a tough year. So I thought I would take this opportunity to give back to the absolute legends who support this channel. Every single day I'm going to be giving away a prize for 12 days leading up to Christmas. Every day the prize is going to go up in value ladies and gentlemen. All the way from a gift card to a massive cash prize the day before Christmas. iPhones, coffee machines, the whole thing. We're going to give away everything ladies and gentlemen and all you have to do to enter is buy a piece of merch. So every single piece of merch you buy is one entry to go into the 12 days of Buttmas. I love yous. I can't wait for you to see the merch drop. It's my favorite of all time. Anyway, sorry to interrupt. I love ya. Already, did I already say that? And now, let's get on with the video. Ladies and gentlemen, just a few weeks ago, this happened. Have you ever wondered how you're going to die? Well, my crystal ball tells me you're going to die of heart disease, unless your name is The Buttsman! Got other plans in store for you, buddy. Yes, that's right, my mortal enemy. The Joker to my Batman. The Lex Luthor to my Superman. The gonorrhea to my 18-year-old self. Pfft, tough times. Vegan Games, the world's biggest Vegan anus, who also has a very bad attitude and an OnlyFans account for some fucked up reason, was invited by beautiful me, gorgeous, handsome me, to come on my podcast and finally talk one-on-one, -on -one, mano y mano, man to soy boy. Remember, this is the bloke who wanted to fight me in a cage. He's been talking about fighting me for years now. I live rent free in his head all the fucking time. I am so involved in this man's life and I don't think about him other than when I make videos about him because people like watching me talk shit about him and he always reacts, so that's why I keep doing it. It's a great business plan. But here's the thing. I extended the invite to Vegan Gains like the amazing human being I am and he wasn't happy at all. This was his response, his video response, just a day or two later. Isaac Butterfield, please stop lying. <laughs> Let's take a look, shall we? Hi everyone, so today is just going to be a quick video. One of my least favorite people in the entire world, Isaac Butterfield. First of all, I am not your least favorite person in the world. You fucking love me, you little cocksucker, and you know it. And secondly, who starts a video like that? How dull is your tone? Oh, good day, everybody. It's great to have you here. Fuck off. Get some fucking excitement in your day. Imagine if that's how I started my video. G'day, you good motherfuckers. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you buy my merch. Merch drop happening in a week's time on the 7th, or maybe it's the 8th, I'm not quite sure. There's no excitement, and then people wouldn't give a shit. But it was a sneaky plug. Merch drop next week. Point being, cheer the fuck up. Made another video about me. Uh, now, it was nothing but a series of personal attacks, so I'm not gonna actually respond to it. Pussy. At the end of that video, Butterfield invited me onto his podcast for a discussion or debate. More a discussion. Let's face it. You are a vegan activist, Vegan Gains, alright? That's what you do. Your day-to-day -day life is arguing with people about how great plant foods are and how bad animal foods are. So I'm not gonna try and debate you on the health reasons around veganism or all that shit, or the ethical reasons. Maybe we'll talk about ethical reasons, maybe we will talk about health reasons, but that's not gonna be the crux of the conversation. The podcast, the, the interview if you will, will be about who you are and who I am and see if we can agree on some things, and see if we yell at each other throughout. The conversation will be just like the vegan booty one. We will get to know the crux of that human being that is behind the name and the videos and all that type of shit. We will sort out the men from the soy boys, if you will. So I'm more than happy to have a discussion or a debate with Butterfield on his podcast, but I've been receiving a lot of comments and messages from his fanboys where they're accusing me of being afraid of Isaac Butterfield, uh, backing down from the fight challenge that I made. Yes, he challenged me to a cage fight 
several years ago. Isaac, uh, you know, I'm cool doing an MMA match with you. What are you, like, uh, 150? I've got, like, a good 70 fucking pounds on you. And if you want to have a cage match, I'd love to beat your fucking face in. So basically, he's a bit of a child. But what upset me the most about that, and really, actually, it infuriated me, was the fact that he said that I was 158 pounds. That's 68 kilos. Fuck off, mate. I'm 106 kilos, you fucking lunatic. Anyway, will I fight Veggio Gains one day? Who the fuck knows? I prefer not to have any more concussions in my life, seeing as I played football for a long time. But, you know what? If the money's right, we'll do it. So I emailed him right away asking, uh, all right, I saw that you, you know, uh, wanted to fight me. I'm sorry, okay? I get a lot of emails. I, I apologize, for goodness me. Oh, hang on. He censored a word. Let's go through the email that he sent to me and find out what the word was. Oh, the R word. Richard, are you not wanting people to know that you use the R word? You poor little fella. Is everything okay? Are you worried that your big empire of veganism will fall down? You'll be cancelled by the vegan and broccoli community just because you use the word ret- Well, you did use it. And honestly, let's not be silly here. If anyone's the retard, it's you. He never messaged me back. So I tried to get into contact with him with, uh, through Facebook and Twitter as well. He has never responded to any of my messages to him. And he has since been spreading this lie around that I backed down from this fight challenge when I never did. He's the one who's just been trying to avoid me. Again with the fight. You need to calm down, mate. So I watched this video with what can only be described as glee. Because I was about to reach out to him. But he started to kick on and carry on about this. Oh, they're not calling me. They're not texting me. They're not emailing me and freaking out. So we decided to push his podcast, his potential date, back a few weeks just to watch him squirm. And squirm, he did. I tried messaging him on Facebook, contacting him through Twitter, and I emailed him. Butterfield won't respond to any of my messages, and other vegans have actually challenged him to a fight. You are too desperate, vegan gains. Richard, you, if you want to get in my pants, you need to fucking chill out, mate. What happened to the waiting 24 or 48 hours before you text me? Just fucking breathe, brother. I also just recently emailed him a few days ago asking, like, okay, dude, I'm willing to go onto your podcast. I also left a comment on that video uh, telling him, Okay, I'll go onto your podcast and uh, I'll my you know where my email is. Fucking hell, man! You're too desperate. You're coming on too strong. Too much heat. I'm playing hard to get now. I'm in your head. I'm living here. I've set up my fucking couch. I've put a fucking telly on the wall. I've drilled in. Even though you're not supposed to drill into rentals, I'm fucking drilling into the wall. I'm assuming Butterfield actually has no intention of inviting me onto his podcast because. He's afraid of me. So the reason we didn't get him straight into the podcast for the first episode wasn't so much fear. We wanted to do vegan booty first and then wait a couple of weeks and then have him on. That's basically it. But now it's time. Producer Lordy of the Cancer Me Now podcast reached out to Vegan Gains four times. I also emailed him. He responded to mine, did not respond to Lordy, uh, which was very rude. Do you think you're just too good for him, you fucking pig? We have finally set a date. Holy shit, the podcast of the century, the abuse of the century is about to happen. Vegan Gains versus the Buttsman. It's coming to your phones, television, or wherever you watch fucking YouTube. It's coming to Spotify, iTunes next Tuesday, the 7th of December. Holy shit balls, prepare yourself. It's gonna be fucking through the roof. There's gonna be yelling, there's gonna be screaming, there'll be personal attacks. We're all gonna be horrible to each other, but it's all for a good cause, all right? It's gonna be for a good cause, my views. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you are not Richard Vegan Gains, I hope you have a lovely day and please consider subscribing. Uh, if you are Vegan Gains, Fuck you to the moon, you absolute cocksucker. And if you want to say fuck you to Vegan Gains, when the merch drops in a week's time, grab yourself a brand new fuck you to the moon hat. How beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, my dick stinks. Toodaloo, au revoir. Bye bye. <laughs>